What's up guys, here's Claudio from Visual Model WordPress Teams and in today's video we're gonna learn how to proceed a website health check using WordPress. This is a simple, fast and very useful method to check your site potential things to improve and security vulnerabilities for example. WordPress.org community has made an amazing free to use WordPress plugin that is called Health Check and you can download for free directly on your WordPress dashboard and in this video we're gonna be using it so we can understand the plugin results, the installation process and the things that you need to do that you need to do to improve our WordPress website. First of all, we're gonna move to our WordPress dashboard, plugins, and in the search field, we're gonna type health check. We're gonna be installing the WordPress plugin health check by the WordPress.org community. Click on install now, or of course, you can download the plugin.zip files directly on the WordPress.org website and upload manually into your WordPress site. You just need to click on the download and get the .zip files to upload. But the first process is a little simple, a little simpler. After the installation, we're going to click on activate button. And the plugin is already working. It's checking the other plugins, the themes, the WordPress version, the PHP version. And if you have a look on WordPress dashboard tools, you're going to find a new button called Site Healthy. In the Site Healthy, as soon as you click, the plugin is going to be loading the results, things that you need to look at on your site. In my case, I'm, gonna, I'm using the local host and should be improved. It's the overall result. So what do we need you to do? First of all, our WordPress is updated. As you can see, there's a new version, there's a new update available. Secondly, we have to remove, we should remove inactive the plugins that we are not using. This is a great tip. You can get some, you can get a lot of knowledge, a lot of good information by looking at this site healthy results. You should remove inactive things for security. In, we recommend that you update PHP. I'm gonna leave a link that are missing in our PHP. This I'm gonna explore in a future video, but you can contact your hosting company, support team, and talk about it, because it's not so hard to do. And the site it's not using HTTPS, the SSL certificate. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below for a blog post on Visual Modo where we do explain how to use and the importance of, of SSL certificates. And finally, the time zone. This is because I'm on local host, but if, you are, if yours is showing this issue, we're gonna see how to fix it on WP settings general. Now we can have a look at the, at the info for more information about website size, WordPress version, theme version, plugins names, and others important data that you can save and download. Now, the trouble shooting mode. This is a mode that you can enable in the case that you want to check and test plugins and themes for potential and possible issues. I'm gonna make a video, I'm gonna rise a video in a near future future explaining how these two works. But if you are not a developer or have some knowledge, I do not recommend that you use it yet. And finally we have the tools, the site integrity, the mail check, and the plugin compatibility. All organize it in a simple to understand list of data. And it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If 
feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question, and don't forget to check out the visualmodo.com portfolio of amazing WordPress themes. And I see you later. All the best!